<clears throat> Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 15 in the reads And I will give you pastors According to mine heart Which shall feed you With knowledge and understanding First and foremost I want to give all praise On and glory to the heavenly father And his only begotten son Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakwadash Next double honors to the head apostles Slash elder bishops of great millstone The one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible Peace, blessings and safety to all you sincere I can keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith My gospel people here for a bit You just want to just throw something out there Just watching lessons throughout the day You know One day closer of course To the day of the Lord But before the Lord come he said look be instant in season Out of season preach this word Feed my sheep with what? With the 100% truth according to the Bible. Which starts off with the name. No name, no doctrine, no name, no salvation, no name, no nothing. The scriptures tell you that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and it's safe. So for you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, listen to anybody that say they ain't got the name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten son. Run. 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 Matter of fact, bear, bear with me. I said run, right? Bear with me. Just want to do something right quick. Bear with me. I said run, right? Just hold on. Just hold on. Get to something right quick. I'm trying to multitask, so just bear with me. You see that anybody walking around, any man, that's what's supposed to be teaching the Bible, right? According to the Bible, right? Any man walk around telling you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that he doesn't know the name of the Heavenly Father and his only begotten son, you better haul ass, man. For real, for real. Anybody coming out of their mouth saying you can call the name of the Heavenly Father and his son anything, you can call him your play yogurt. That ninja should have been rebuked like shit, you know what I'm saying? And, and kicked the hell out. And they should have made a, an apology first and foremost to, to the whole congregation First and foremost to Yahweh through his only begotten son Yahweh Shai And to the whole congregation of Israel I should have never did that But you got to thank them Like I was watching um, Elder Tazo Paul's video The elder brother from um, from Houston He made a beautiful point He said if the IUIC won't even apologize to the, to the Heavenly Father His only begotten son What makes you think they're going to apologize to us You see if they won't even make a public public apology to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai for saying they don't got the names for saying that you can call the Heavenly Father and the Son anything you can call them your play yoga you can call them whatever if they're not making an official apology on the internet you no know saying to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son what makes you think they're gonna apologize to us so enough with the elder apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone. Only thing they're going to come with is slender, tactics, the bombs, the bombs, the bombs. We don't give a fuck. Call us bombs all day, yo. We, it ain't meant for us to have it. We in slavery, yo. You see, our job is to teach the word. Our job is to do what? Jeremiah 3 and 15. And I will give you pastors, leaders, spiritual guides, according to mine heart, his mind, the Heavenly Father's mind, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. We'll start off with the fear of the Lord. And I want to get that right quick. I'm going to be just something quick, man. Feed just feeding the sheep. I turned the camera on, just feeding the sheep. Lord willing, the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel is edified. Matter of fact, before I even get that, let's just get this. And then I'm thinking of it. Let's just get this. This ain't going to be nothing long. Just wanted to hit something before it got too dark outside. Wanted to come outside and do something. It's a lot. Let's go here. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 3. And it reads, this is our job. The Lord said, if you love me, feed my sheep. You're not going to say, Lord, it's cold. I can't feed the sheep. The Lord is too hot. I can't feed the sheep. The Lord told the, um, the head apostle Peter, if you love me, feed my sheep. And that's what we do. No breaks. Man. The prophets don't get no breaks. Oh, yeah. Y'all y'all have been aged. Now y'all need to retire. Let me take over. Where they, where they do that at? Where's that written up in the scriptures? The prophets have never retired, man. 
The only, re the only time a prophet is going to retire if he goes up to the spiritual realm. You know what I'm saying? Gets, gets called back up into the heavens. That's the only time you're going to retire. But as long as you're down here on the face of the earth, you know what I'm saying? Lord's will, you're going to continue to prophesy to, to an order come down like, yo, into that famine of the world. Because it's going to be a famine of the world. And then guys are going to want to go out and start teaching, right? Ain't that something? You see? Why well, it's time to preach because the scripture says it's a time to speak and it's time to keep silence. Well, this is the time for us to be speaking, right? But a whole lot of guys don't want to speak. But then when it's time, you know what I'm saying, to keep silence, that's when a whole lot of guys going to want to start speaking. It's too damn late then. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 3, and it reads, But he that prophesieth, because remember we tell people what's going to happen before it even happens, right? But he that prophesieth speaketh unto men to edification. The word edify, edification goes back to edify, which means to build, right? And exhortations. Yes, yeah, rough, it's tough, it's hard. The Lord never said it was going to be um, easy. So we continue to tell our people to push with the comfort that we're being comfortable with. And I'm going to have to get that scripture too. Comfort them with the comfort you all, your also, yourself was come. I'm how to get it. I'm how to get it. And it says, and exhort, an exhortation. I'm, I'm excited right about now. I'm hyped. You know what I'm saying? You see, I'm energized. I'm ready for the Lord to come. I'm ready for the Lord to destroy two thirds of our people, destroy these false prophets, man. Have have some of the worst things happen to them. At least they repent. The man, woman, and the child. Let some horrifying, let some some horrifying judgments happen to them. At least they repent, right? And comfort. So we do what we comfort our people with this word, right? And I want to get this. While I'm thinking about it, I want to get this. Bear with me. Uh, what is it? Comfort it. Just get this. This nonsense that you see going forth from these um, other false Israelite groups, yeah, other false Israelite groups, it's, it's madness. The only thing they're telling you is just to get money, get money. That's the same thing the ninjas in the world tell you, man. So your house got to be big, you know what I'm saying? Look at his small house. I got the big shit over here, you know what I'm saying? Look at my car, look at his beat up car. Look at my fancy outfit, look at his, his um, bummy outfit. That's that worldly shit, man. Look at my woman, look at his woman, look at his, his life is ragtag. Look at my life, I'm living an expensive lifestyle. You see, I'm living my best life while they bombed out. This is not our rest. And then the scriptures tell us to store up treasures in heaven. What are we doing over here at Great Millstone? The men on down, the affiliates, we're storing up treasures in heaven, man. And like the elder Tazo Padno saying from Houston, I was just watching his video. Watch a couple of videos throughout the day, but it's the last one. And I'm still watching. I'm pausing right quick to come on and do this lesson. Lord, what is edifying? Like he was going to soon. You want to get the cars, you want to get the house, you want to show the lavish lifestyle, you want to show people that you got racks on racks, you make yourself a target. They ain't pushing that. What about what about pushing humility? The, the average Israelite group, they're pushing pride, they're pushing carnality, you see? Which ain't got nothing to do with the Lord. But I want to get this though. I want to get this. 2 Corinthians chapter 1. 2 Corinthians chapter 1. I started on... Um, Salakia. Matter of fact, I started one. Paul, an apostle of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, who you eagerly call Jesus, right? By the will of Yahweh and Timothy, our brother, unto the church of the Most High, which is at Corinth, with all the saints, which are Israelites, which are in all Achaia. Grace be to you and peace from the Most High Yahweh, our Father, and from the Lord Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, who you're going to call God and Jesus in the Hebrew tongue. Yes, we got the Hebrew. We got the proper name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son in the Hebrew. Yes, we do. It's all through faith. We're not here to make you believe. You don't believe. And like you say, we don't got the name. When, when all hell break loose and destruction come and a famine come and a race wars come, the civil unrest come, anarchy, who the hell are you going to call on? You see, because the scriptures say, I don't pray without ceasing. So if you don't know the name, don't say, who the hell are you praying to? You see, when one of your loved ones get up in a jam, get in an accident, you say you don't know the name of the heavenly father and his only begotten son. So who the hell do you pray to? When it's time to pay them bills, you lose your job and you're trying to find another job. Who do you pray to? You got a rabbit right there. The animals be knowing, man. The animals be knowing, man. It's all spiritual, right? Right over there. It's all, it's all good. But yeah, who, if you don't got the name, who the hell are you going to pray to, man? You're just like men and women. God and Christ bless you. Really? You're going to call on God and Christ bless all hell. The damn bomb's going to be dropping. The martial law truth's going to be banging on, banging on your damn door. You know what I'm saying? You're kicking off the hinges. And the first thing you're going to say is, God and Christ bless, please help me. Are you serious? Are you serious? 
You know what I'm saying? Brothers didn't put up enough um, articles, you know what I'm saying, of um, the good ship Jesus was the first ship that brought the so-called um, Negroes over here to, to the America. You know what I'm saying? North America, man. The good ship Jesus is the first ship that came over here and it was sponsored by the damn small hats, by the um, the big nosed people. But that's the name that you call on? You call on the name, you know what I'm saying, that your slave master gave you. And bear, bear with me. I want to show you something right quick. For, for all you new believers that still call on Jesus, I want to I want to show you something. Let me type this in. Just bear with According me. to homework.study.com, answer and explanation. Until the year 1524, there was no letter J in the alphabet. The letter J was originally the same letter as I. Mm, 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 mm. Did y'all hear that? Put a one, put a one in the chat if y'all heard that. Just Bob shot. Put a one in the chat so I get my face all up to the screen. I'm trying to multitask. Put a one in the chat if y'all heard what that woman just said when it came to the letter J coming into play. Put just put. I just need one one. If I see one one, okay, the water, bro. You how about she? I shot broke a thought. So so here it's worth a Google. We in the inf how the hell are we gonna be in the inf information age? We're in the internet age. We're in the information age. How the hell are we gonna be in the information age? And you're not using the information that's that's accessible. It's clearly accessible. You no know saying I ain't the best speaker. You no know saying and the best word saying all that. So just bear with me. You know what I'm saying. You can clearly see right here, it was worth a Google, right? You see it right here, answer and explanation. Until the year 1524, there was no letter J in the alphabet. It's up there on the screen. Can I see that on the screen? Let's see. That's on the screen. It's right there. Clear. Clear as day. So why in the hell are you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans? Look, of the circumcision, of the circumcision, we know the majority of our people, two-thirds, they don't know nothing. But you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans of the circumcision, that you know who you are. Why the hell? Why, 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 why are the hell you still using J? You know what I'm saying? You still using Jeebus, man. Do you not see these people bug the hell out? Just that, that dude, you know what I'm saying, down in um, Charlotte, Sam. Sam I am. Jesus saves. Jesus saves. This nigga, this nigga just bug the hell out. You know what I'm saying? Just like that damn dude, you know what I'm saying? That Latin dude to be doing all that pop locking. So, so, um, Jesus says, Jesus says, doing all that pop. Y'all know who I'm talking about. These niggas are bug the hell out, man. So, we, we can't feed. This is garbage right here. You see? Jesus Christ is garbage, man. You see? That's garbage. You feeding up people with garbage, man. The first ship that came over here, you know what I'm saying, to the Americas that was bringing this so called Negroes over here was the good ship Jesus, man. You see? We just say answer and explanation until the year. That's why they said don't watch Great Millstone. Don't watch the bums. Don't watch the bums. Don't watch the bums. Cause you know the bums got 100% truth according to the Bible, and we research everything. We re and if we don't know something, we look it up. You know what I'm saying? We do the research on it, and then we'll bring it out. You see? You see? You you don't want us to give um your congregation a proper name in the Hebrew tongue of the heavenly Father and only be God's son. You're scared. You're scared of losing members. You scared of losing memory. That's why you're just passing out pamphlets, trying to get anybody, you know, saying to join your congregation. We gotta feed our people with the truth, man. This is the time, man. So let's go back here. I just wanted to just throw that out there, man. You see? The Lord said, feed my sheep. So we feed you with everything that we got, man. We, the Lord feed us, we feed you, man. So going right back. Second Corinthians chapter one. Verse um Two, grace be to you and peace from the Most High Yahweh, our Father, and, and from the Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Blessed be the Most High Yahweh, even the Father of our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach, who you eagerly call Jesus, the Father of mercies. And that's what we're praying for. All hell is breaking loose, and we're begging for mercy. You see? We ain't got time to be playing around. Remember, riches, now we're we going to keep quoting those scriptures, man. Riches, what is a Proverbs 11 and 4? Riches, profit, not in the day of wrath. What part of that don't you ninjas understand, man? Look at all these ninjas that have money. Did, 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 did those riches, you know what I'm saying, stop them from getting blasted the hell down? Did those riches stop them from getting um, um, pretty much robbed, you know what I'm saying? Did those riches stop the spirits created for vengeance from, you know what I'm saying, um, from going oops upside their damn head, huh? Did those riches stop them from getting in a plane crash, a train crash, a car crash? Did it? Did it? That's a big old no. That's a big old N O, man. No, man. Righteousness delivered from death. Brothers can put that up. Proverbs 11 and 4. And the Lord said, let everything be done decent and order. Why, why the scriptures say one thing, but then you got leaders, Israelite group leaders, you know what I'm saying? They'll do opposite of what the scriptures say, but then that's the guy that you're supposed to follow, though, right? The, clear, the scriptures clearly tell you to do, do it the right way, you know what I'm saying? But oh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to do it this way. And I still want you to follow me. I still want you to come on, man. Come on, man. In a congregation full of damn women, 
know what I'm saying? Damn breasts out, ass out, just giggling, hee hee, ha ha, all this damn talking shit. You doing a lesson, all you hear is women in the damn background and damn babies in the damn. Come on, man. It's confusion, man. And the Lord said he's not the author of confusion, right? But we're gonna read on though. We're gonna read on though. What it say? What it say? The father of, of mercies. And the power of all comfort And he has given us the comforter So, so no matter what we're going through We're being comforted Going right back to um, Romans the 15th chapter Verse 4 The things that are written the fourth time Were written for our learning That we, the hopeful elect Through patience and comfort Other scriptures Might have hope man Alright that's, that's why we speak according to this Bible We, we, we can't speak our own words Got, got men uh, putting themselves up on a pedestal You got these people putting men on a pedestal Nah man Nah, you, you want to flee away from that Even Lord Yahweh shall I flee from people You know what I'm saying, trying to make him king Trying to put him on a pedestal, you see And his service no not greater than his Lord And the Lord's revealing who's serving him And who ain't too Going right back to, um, what is it, Malachi I'm going to quote some scriptures Going right back to Malachi 3 and 18 You're going to discern between the righteous and the wicked Between him that serveth the most high And him that serveth him not but you is like so damn blind, you still can't in this dirt. Oh yeah, if, if my garment ain't um, flashy enough, oh yeah, the Lord, I must, the Lord ain't dealing with me, right? If my house ain't big enough, if I ain't talking about money every damn time, you know what I'm saying? I turn around. If I ain't talking about where, where I just came from and where I'm about to go, I ain't a man of the Lord. Where they do that at? You see? What they do that at? If we ain't having these big ass functions and these big ass um, what's it um, what's it called them shit? Ballroom things and shit. Uh, that damn, uh, just madness, man. This ain't got nothing to do. Nothing. If you gonna do something, you gonna have um, like um, fashion shows and all that. Let that be separate from the ministry, man. All right, Lord, we got the blueprint, right? You, you see all, you see what I'm reading. Guess what that's called? That's called a blueprint of how to do things. That's called a blueprint. You stick to the script, right? So let's go here. Let's, let's just read on, man. You see? What it say? Who um I read I read three again. Blessed be the most high Yahweh, even the father of our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach. And so like it for the written, the father of mercies and the power of all comfort. But don't tempt the Lord. Just because the Lord, you know what I'm saying, is long suffering and he got tender mercy, love and care, you know what I'm saying, for the children of Israel, we don't tempt them though. We don't tempt them though, right? It says, who comforted us, and it's the point, who comforted us in all our tribulation? Meaning through the hell that we catching. You see? This word that was comforting us, right? The elder apostle slash elder bishop, the great millstone, reading this word to us, it comforts our spirit, right? Even though we we being afflicted in these in these um, wretched bodies, you know what I'm saying? We working, you see, just just going through it, right? Defamed, slandered, all that, persecuted, lied on, all that, just like the Lord, right? Who comforted us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of the Most High. So the same men, you know what I'm saying, that taught us and comforted us with this word, in turn, what do we do? We turn around and do the same thing. We cover the rest of the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel that's going through tribulation, that's going through persecution, that's probably looking for a job, you know what I'm saying, you know, one check away from being homeless and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? That's, that, that's our life over here, you see? Who wasn't brought over here to live, live the best, you know what I'm saying? You got different situations. Some brothers, you know what I'm saying, got apartments, some brothers got houses, some brothers got nice cars, some brothers got regular cars that maybe smoking shit like that, and need or is leaking and like that it's all part of the process it's all part of the battle everybody ain't gonna be doing good over here in babylon but if you're doing good you know what i'm saying like the scripture say if you see if you have these worldly goods you know what i'm saying you see your brother have need of it you don't give it to him then, then what type of person are you you bragging all damn day about all these millions you know what i'm saying but you ain't comforting nobody you hoard you wouldn't you hoarding all this damn money hoarding all these you know what i'm saying um carnal things that ain't that don't mean shit all right it don't mean shit as long as you got your daily bread, you know what I'm saying? As long as you got something to eat, as long as you got a roof over your head, as long as you got some, some clothes to put on, as long as you got some decent shoes to put on, this ninja's always bragging about name brand shit. You ain't got these, you ain't got these ninja. We don't want these ninja. We want to be comforted with the word. That's what we want. All we got, I mean, all, all I need is this word anyway. This is the only thing that matters to me. And this word, and that um, encompasses the brotherhood, you know what I'm saying? The hopeful like sisters and things of like that. All we need is this word, Israel. You see, this is what's gonna keep us stable. Not no damn big ass house, no saying that thieves might break it too. Once you go on a damn out of town trippers, think these niggas ain't watching. Think these niggas ain't comfort my people. All hell breaking loose. You see? Matter of fact, let's get this. Comfort my people with these words, right? Let's get this St. Matthew 24. And this ain't gonna be nothing long. 
Just wanted to hit songs, sitting there watching videos of how everybody's bragging about what they got, you know what I'm saying? And they condemning brothers and sisters that really ain't, you know what I'm saying? You see? Got it going on like they do the bums, the bums, the bums, the bums. So that makes you a man of the Lord because you can just holler out, you, you a bum, you a bum, and you ain't got what we got. You're jealous, you're jealous, jealous of what? Why Why? Why would we be jealous of a person that sold out to the damn, to the devil? You know what I'm saying? Let that make sense. Why the hell would we be jealous of a person that sold out to the damn devil, man? Let that make sense. St. Matthew chapter 24, verse, um, I, I read five. Um, for many shall come. As a matter of fact, let's start at three. Why the hell? I ain't never been jealous of nobody, man. Then we was growing up, of course, you know what I'm saying? We seen Sleazy with certain things, you know what I'm saying? We're like, damn, we couldn't understand why we going through what we was going through. Like, Sleazy was always had the best cars. It was always had the best lifestyle. They would always stay in the best neighborhoods and shit. And we was kind of like envious growing up, you know what I'm saying? We was young. Like, damn, why they got everything? We ain't got nothing. But now we understand. So it ain't for damn for us to be jealous now. We know now. We know the reason why they had it all, you know what I'm saying? And we ain't have nothing because they time to rule. And we was being punished the whole time, which is, and nobody taught us that. What was going through, what we go, this is what we supposed to be doing. We supposed to be teaching our people why we in this predicament, not just bragging about, you know what I'm saying, who's the bum, you know what I'm saying, who's the richest on the face of the earth. We all at the damn bottom. You got more money than I got. Well, you still can get pulled over just like I can. Your ass can still go to jail just like I can. Your ass still being ruled over by the wicked just like I am. So, so what the fuck? You ain't no different than me. You just got more shekels and a bigger house and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? More problems any damn way. More for you to worry about. I ain't got no damn words because I don't own nothing. So you you the ones going to worry up now. So you go out of town, you're going to be worried about that big ass house. You're going to be worried about that expensive jewelry, them expensive cars. I ain't worried about that shit. It says men lose sleep. These rich people, they lose sleep, man. Worrying about their damn rich. Somebody's always trying to steal from them. We ain't worried about that over here. You see? And our elder apostles slash elder bishop, great millstone, ain't never ripped nobody off. You see? Those are some of the most humble men on the face of the earth. And you're jealous. You other Israelite groups, you're jealous, all right? You're jealous, man. So what it say? Saying I, I just want to throw that, excuse my rent, that's going to be part of the lesson today. Rent and scriptures, all right? Something's on my mind. I'm letting it off. The, the Lord's speaking through us, right? St. Matthew 24, verse 2. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, See, see, uh, what it say? Bear with me. See not all these things. Verily I say unto you, no, three, Salakia. That was two. Uh, St. Matthew 24 and three. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world. Man, look, that's what we heard about, man. We ain't worried about this fancy ass bull job that these ninjas are talking about, man. You see? We don't give a damn about your women, you know what I'm saying? We don't give a damn about your lifestyle, your flashy garments, man. Y'all can have that shit, man. We ain't worried about that shit, man. You see? As long as we got on a garment, you know what I'm saying? We'll go out there and teach. That's all that matters. We ain't worried about nothing else, man. You see? We worried about when Lord Yahweh Shai gonna come and take down this damn devil, man. Who you made a deal with. You see? And where's Joy Morgan at, man? I'm going to say that, Lord willing, every time I do a video, where the hell is Joy Morgan at, man? You see? They, her family wants to know where she's at, man. You want to stay far away from that, though, right? So, so the only thing we worried about is when Lord Yahweh is going to come. Lord Yahweh is going to come and take this devil down, man. You see? What's the sign? The Lord said, look, look, these are the signs. These are the signs. Let's jump down. Verse 6. Matter of fact, I, I read, matter of fact, I read four. Let's just read on down. And Yahweh shall answer and send it to send it to them. Take heed that no man deceive you. There's a whole lot of false prophets out here. You see? The Lord says it's gonna be many. That's why you gotta try the spirit by the spirit. To see uh if they're of um Yahweh Baha Shimiah because many false prophets went out into the world. And then brothers can put that scripture up there too. It says, um, and Yahweh shall answer and send it to him, send it to them. Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name saying I am the anointed And shall deceive many You got, you got Israelite men saying they is the anointed And then you got Israelite men saying they followers of the anointed The anointed, you know what I'm saying? Meaning Lord Yahweh has sent them You see? To teach us the word But they don't speak according to the word How the hell are you going to listen to somebody that ain't even speaking according to the word? You got Israelite groups teaching hell now They teaching um, Gok G-O-C-C -C. I don't know I don't know why the hell You know what I'm saying They're irrelevant pretty much But it's Israelites out there Still following Gok yo And they teaching You know what I'm saying About mermaids You mean to tell me You following a ninja That's teaching mermaids 
You mean to tell me you still following a ninja? You know what I'm saying? It's teaching you that the, that the heathens made, made it sleep. He didn't say no other heathens. He said sleazy Esau, Edom. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be sitting on thrones. Esau, Edom is ruling right about now. But when Lord Yahweh shall come, sleazy is going to be sitting on thrones with it. And you still following a ninja like that? You see? Pushing forth madness. I don't think he's trying to be down there. Bobby Brown throwing up hats in the air. You still following it? Are you following, you know what I'm saying? Men is teaching hell. Where they do that at, man? That's that Christianity, plantation Christianity nonsense, man. So you're going to burn. You're going to burn. You're going to burn. Where's that at in the scripture? Man, when the scripture say, and brothers can put that up too. When the scripture say, the spirit of man go up upward, the spirit of man go upward. You some, you you saying it going downward. You see, bu bug the hell out. Get some, you can't give a nigga. Plus the scripture say, um, riches are not comely for a niggard, man. You see, niggards with fancy garments and fancy suits. You know what I'm saying, and jet set. You know what I'm saying, making their congregation take that damn Kool Aid. They, they, they don't want that to come out. Damn congregation members, you know what I'm saying, fall into damn deletion over that damn Kool-Aid. You see? Where we go? So the Lord said, don't be deceived by these false prophets, man. These false anointings, right? And you shall hear of wolves. Remember, the Lord said, feed my sheep, right? We're feeding you with what's happening and what's coming, right? Look, look, and you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. Remember, comfort my people. With the comfort ye yourselves are comforted with. Remember the scripture that I just read? This is what we comforting our people with, right? The words of Lord Yahweh Shai. You see? Here's the book, man. You see? The words of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. That's what we feeding our people with, not the words of God and Christ is blessed. Who is that? Who is that, man? Do, do I need to go back? Do I need to remind you again? Do I need to go back here again? Do I need to go back here again, man? Answer and explanation. Until the year 1524, there was no... Do I need to blow it up, man? Do I need to blow it up, man? Look at that, look at that. There was no letter J in the alphabet. Are you not seeing that, man? Is that clear enough for you? Is that clear enough for you, man? Had to, had to, had to, had to blow it up, man. You see? And don't, and, don't, and don't make me pull up that on um, that good ship Jesus either. Don't make me pull it up because I will. I will. I got a phone. I'm, look, look, it's worth a Google. Don't make me do it, all right? You see? Don't make me do it. Matter of fact, it's in my, it's in my pictures, right? I ain't in my pictures. Oh, do I want to? Let's see. Let's see something. Let's see. Bear with me. Let's go here right quick. I'm just going. Just bear with me. Bear with me. I must be allowed to go here. Bear with me. Just hold on. Just hold on. I went there. I got to go here too. It's all edification. Let's see what's it. Here we go. Here we go. It didn't take long. It didn't take long. Look at look at this right here. Look at this right here, Israel. Let me look at my screen right quick. See if I'm showing it. Look at this right here. Ain't that something? Look, look, ain't ain't that a blur? How they how they say it? Ain't that a blur? The good ship Jesus. The beginning of the slave trade. Are you not? We're not seeing that. Are we not seeing that? Jesus of Luke back named the first ship, the first slave ship to to grace the Americas. Are we not seeing this? Are, are we not seeing this? But you got these Israelite groups. You ninjas are simple as shit. You got these Israelite groups out here still calling on God and Christ bless. Call Jesus, Jesus. And you wondering why they count this all dark as shit? You know what I'm saying? You see? Of course you can't teach the truth. You calling on Jeebus, you know what I'm saying? Of course Jesus Jeebus saying don't guide the truth. All right? But I just want to lead it. So look at that, man. The good ship Jesus. The beginning of the slave trade. You know what I'm saying? And look, 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 let that sink in. Let that sink in, right? It's rough for them Google. So let's go back here. Let's go back here. What it say? Same Matthew 24 and 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. But oh yeah, it ain't gonna be no tribulation. You still listening to all hell breaking loose. They've got laws on the books. You know I'm saying they can confiscate everything in your house. When all hell really breaks loose, the government is gonna come and confiscate everything in your big ass house. You know what I'm saying? That fancy car that you got, that uh what do they call that that shit down, them big Jeeps. Them um not not the Pathfinder. Y'all know them big shit like them army shits that they be driving around town sometimes? 
I forgot the name of them big shits, but brothers know what I'm talking about. Them damn, it's, it's like it's a truck. It's like a damn military arm, um, like Jeep type shit. I forgot the name of it. it slips my mind, you know what I'm saying? If brothers put it on the comment board, I see it or whatever. But yeah, you got one of them, them getting them damn gas guzzles, you know what I'm saying? You gonna have one of them shits and the government gonna come and take whatever you got, man. You you niggas think you can sell out to the devil, you know what I'm saying? The scripture say never trust thine enemy. You think you're gonna be able to um, trust in the devil, you know what I'm saying? He's, he's gonna let you, you know what I'm saying, be all good when he bring wrath through these cities. The Lord say he's gonna spoil, you know what I'm saying, everything. So he's gonna come in like a madman. I can't, I can't believe I can't think of that damn truck. It's on the tip of my tongue. It was them big shit, them big wide shits, you know what I'm saying? You see? Y'all know what I'm talking about. For nation shall rise against nation, a kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrow. So the Lord like your go out there and feed them with that. Go and let my people know what's going to happen before they even have it. Don't play with them. You see? Don't bring that gray area nonsense, you know what I'm saying? You see, but we know the majority of our people, they're going to be eating and drinking just like in the time of Noah, you know what I'm saying? They ain't thinking about this word. Our people want to be rich, man. The love of money is the... Ain't nothing wrong with having money. Money is a defense. And like Elder Tazapas said, you know what I'm saying? The elder from Houston said, look, we hate going to work, but it's part of the process. We know if we don't work, we don't eat. But we hate leaving out the house, going and giving sleazy our time. We rather give, we rather dedicate all our time, you know what I'm saying, to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai in the ministry. But we know we got to work, you know what I'm saying? You see? Got niggas, niggas bragging about, you know what I'm saying? I'm making moves, yo. I'm making moves, yo. Fuck your moves, man. We're trying to get, we're trying to move and get the hell out of here, man. The Lord said, when you see these signs coming to pass, look up, you know what I'm saying? For your redemption draw of night. We think about getting the hell out of here. I, you can see who wants to really stay here. You can see who really wants to stay here, right? By the by the actions that they that they doing, you know what I'm saying? You see? The moves that they're making. Our people don't want to get out of here either, Israel. They don't want to leave, man. The majority of the Negroes, Latino, matter of fact, they just get that love of money. Our people don't want to leave America, man. They don't want to leave, man. What's some damn big ass trucks? Nah, not any oh, Hummers. Yeah, that's it. That's it, bro. Do damn big ass Hummers. You know what I'm saying the Well, both of both of them, but the Hummer is what I was talking about. The water, bro. Yeah, them big ass Hummers. You know what I'm saying. Look, if you got one of them shits, the government gonna take that shit. The government gonna take whatever you got. You got a private jet. Guess what? The government gonna take that shit too. Whatever you got, the government gonna take it, man. You see? Let's go here. First Timothy chapter six verse ten. It says, "For the love of money, not having money, because money is a defense. Ain't nothing wrong with having money. We gotta, we gotta pay our bills. You know what I'm saying? We gotta look out for the ministry. Brothers need, you know what I'm saying? Happy hand. We, we look out. Things of that nature. But we're just not sitting back hoarding up millions. You know what I'm saying? Just so we can say, you know what I'm saying? We got millions. You know what I'm saying? We got millions of dollars now. What? You got millions of dollars now. What? You ain't helping no damn body out. No sense. What the hell, man? Just some, just some ninjas with money, yo. Bragging about what my I got money. I I got lots of money. I want money. Lots of lots of money. I wanna bum, 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 bum. I wanna be rich. Bum, bum, bum. Only thing these ninjas think about is being rich, yo. They ain't thinking about teaching the children of Israel. When you do away with the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, guess what? You're willing to do anything. If you give the, give up the name that leads you to salvation, that brings you salvation, you would do that means you want to stay here. You see? You want to stay here. First Timothy 6 and 10. For the love of money, not having money, for the love of money is the root of all evil. Just, just, look, look, uh, what do we say? For the love of money, they were still from their mother. For the love of money, they will delete their own brother. Don't let money change you. Money has changed these ninjas, man. They got the 501c3 Charles. They jetting every damn well. You're mad because this man is going here. And you're mad this man is going there. We ain't mad about shit. How about that, man? And then, uh, you, you jetting all across the world teaching Jesus, man. What the hell is wrong with you niggas, man? You see? Jen from this side of the earth to this side of the earth, you know what I'm saying? Teaching our people Jesus, you know what I'm saying? When I just showed you, you know what I'm saying? The letter J just came into play in 1524. And then it was a it was a ship that brought these so-called Negroes over here to the America, you know what I'm saying? Named the good ship Jesus, man. And you that's what you you going across across land and sea, you know what I'm saying? Cre creating more demons, yo. Oh yeah, we're we're bigger than everybody. we it ain't this truth ain't about that right there. How you gonna be around longer than I have? You know what I'm saying? And you still ain't understanding the fundamentals. You still ain't understanding the simplicity of the Lord Yahweh Shai, man. You see? Yeah, we we gather some men from this from this country. We we went over here to it ain't about that, man. It's about teaching this word, you know what I'm saying? The elect being sealed, and Lord willing, we get the hell out of here, man. 
whole lot of guys don't even know what they're involved in, man. They want to be somebody, man. Uh, what was that? When they, uh, John the Baptist said, I must um, decrease and Lord Yahweh Shai must increase. It ain't about us no more. Guys still trying to make it about them. Women still trying to make it about them. Fuck y'all. Fuck me. It's about Yahweh Shai. What part of that don't y'all get, man? For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some covered after you see somebody with something you want in there, you see Sleazy with all this money. Now you want in there. We're gonna, we're gonna tap into, we're gonna tap into Edom's spirit. We're gonna tap into Edom's spirit. Come on, man. You see, and while some covered after they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through many sorrows. Big, what, the, what did Biggie say? More money, more problems. Biggie told you that. You see, more money, more problems. Right. Let's see. Matter of fact, I, I, got, I got to get the next verse. I got to get 11. You see? I got to get 11. Let's see. Verse 11, 1 Timothy 6 and 11. But thou, O man of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Look, flee these things. Run away from the riches of this world, the carnality of this world, being covetous. You know what I'm saying? Run away from that. Flee away from that, man. Nobody ain't read the scripture yet. The Lord said, flee away from that nonsense, man. You see? Flee away from that, right? It says, it says, and follow after righteousness. You see? This is what we talking about here. This is what we're teaching over here. You see? Follow out the righteousness. What does it say? Um, um, seek meekness, seek righteousness. It may be you shall be here in the day of the Lord's wrath. You see? What does it say? And follow out the righteousness, godliness, faith. Remember faith-based Israelites, right? Love. You know what I'm saying? Um, love is keeping the commandments of the Bible Charity and all the little, 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 little Patience Meaning we're going to suffer We're going to suffer The other Israelite groups They ain't teaching you about no suffering They just live a lavish lifestyle Every time you turn around They act like they ain't going through shit It's all about a lavish lifestyle It's all about we jetting here We jetting there Look at my house Look at my car Look at my building Where's your building? You're not doing anything for the community We don't supposed to be doing nothing for the community Hello Hello Like the elder Ariala always say Hello Hello Hello. We're supposed to be doing that for the community. We know what the word community goes back to, right? By all the riff, man. The community demon, you know what I'm saying? Well, look, we ain't got we ain't passing out no damn turkeys. We ain't passing out no hamburgers. You know what I'm saying? I wrote the first scripts I started off with was Jeremiah 3 and 15. That's what we passing out. Knowledge, wisdom, understanding that's gonna keep our people stable. That's what we passing out. Starting off with the elder apostles, slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, and the men on down. And so what? We ain't got the fancy couches and we ain't got the fancy coffee tables and we ain't got we don't give a damn about that shit, man. You see? So what, we ain't got elevators in our fucking apartments and in our house. We don't give a damn about that, though. Um, lifestyle of the rich and famous. We don't give a damn about that, all right? And we ain't jealous of nobody. We ain't coveted over y'all stuff, man. Y'all can have that shit, man. You see? All that shit gonna end soon come anyway. Love, patience, and meekness. The Lord wants us to be meek, humble. You see? Humble, man. Because a great humbling is coming. Just know that. What else would the 12 say? Yep. Let's get 12. Let's get 12. No, just, just feeding the sheep right quick, man. I'm about, I'm about, I'm about to head out. How long I've been going? How long I've been going? 37 minutes, I think. Yeah. Uh, just feeding the sheep, man. Whatever the Lord gives me, I'm, I'm going to give you. You see? We have been quick in Israel. The Lord quickened us with this word. You see? And we're thankful for just that, man. And we don't deserve anything. You see? So we're thankful. We're thankful for our daily bread. You got a roof over your head, you got a bed or whatever, you sleeping on a couch, be thankful, man. Hey, you sleeping on the floor, no saying on the damn air mattress, be be thankful. Hey, you sleeping on the floor, no saying with um, some cover, you know, made you um makeshift bed with some cover and things like come on, man, them humble beginnings, man. That's what that's what I'm saying. The Lord said, no saying you thankful over 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 little things, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna be thankful over big things, you see? So we're thankful, you know what I'm saying, for the um, rooming house that we're going to say, because humble beginners, man, you see? Them humble beginners, you know what I'm saying, make you, make you appreciate, you know what I'm saying, when the Lord starts giving you more things, man, you see? What does it say, 1 Timothy 6 and 12? Fight the good fight of faith. And we're Israelites by nature, so we desire nice things, you know what I'm saying? We're we, 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 uh, we the children, we Yasha Allah. So we desire nice things, but if you don't got it, so what, man? So what? That ain't going to make you. 
And that's what that's what that's how the world judge you too on, on, on what you got. But it shouldn't be this way, you know what I'm saying? And this thing of ours, whether my brother got a nice car or a beat up car, I still love him the same. Also with the whole Flex sisters, man. Don't matter. That's like, that's the spirit that we coming in, man. The spirit of Lord Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, man. The Lord won't walk around calling people bums, 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 because they was less fortunate than others. But these ninjas are supposed to be representatives of the Lord. That's their favorite word. The bums, the bums, the bums, the bums. Slandering tactics, calling those grapists. Ain't got no proof or none of that shit. The Lord gonna handle all that, though. Heads gonna roll soon come. The Lord gonna handle all that soon come, man. We ain't got the Lord say, be ye angry, but sin not. So we ain't got to go out and, you know what I'm saying, and make heads roll. The Lord is, though. You know what I'm saying? When your ass sits somewhere in a damn um, brute beast, you know what I'm saying? He's eating off your damn toes, eating off your damn feet, you know what I'm saying? Just know why. You you, you better know why. You see? And call on call on God and Christ's blessing, you know what I'm saying? When an eagle, you know what I'm saying, is taking your ass to the damn lair, you know what I'm saying, to the damn bird's nest, you know what I'm saying? Call on God and Christ's blessing that day, you know what I'm saying? Don't call on Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shaka. Remember, y'all said we don't got the name right. We ain't got the true Hebrew, right? The Hebrew, the Hebrew. I I scorn, I scorn, I scorn, gal, gal, gal. Come on, man. First Timothy 6 and 12. It's all a damn act, man. That Shakespearean shit is old now. It was funny at one time, but then that shit is old. It's Jew, it's Jew. That shit was funny at first, but then that shit is old and played the hell out, all right? All y'all played the hell out, man. First Timothy, you and them damn women over there, man. All played the hell out, man. You see? The only thing these people want to do is damn party and have a damn fun. You know what I'm saying? How the hell are we going to party in slavery, man? You see? First Timothy 6 and 12, fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold, so it's a constant fight. We're going to fight every day, man. The, the, the spirit is fighting against the flesh. The flesh fighting against the spirit every day, man. You see? Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold unto eternal life. Even though the Lord ain't came yet, we haven't been given the gift of faith to know that the Lord is on his way, man. We see all the tall tale signs. And even when we don't see nothing, we, we know something's going on behind the scenes. The Lord's always working, man. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, bro. You know what I'm saying? You heard them birds back there agreeing? The birds know, man. The birds hear the word, man. Shit is um, going into Romans, the eighth chapter, down at, um, in the middle, I think under um, either 16 or was um, 18 or either 19, said the um, the expectation of all the creatures, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what to it say? The earnest expectation. I'm, I'm about to get that. I might have to get it. It says, um, lay hold of to eternal life. That's what we fight for, to live forever. You know what I'm saying? Um, wherein to thou art also called and has professed a good profession before many witnesses, meaning teaching this Bible. You know what I'm saying? On the highway, them byways, on the internet and things. But if I want to get that before I forget, I'm about to wrap it up, though. I just want something was on my mind, you know what I'm saying? We ain't worried about it, man. We vent sometimes, but we ain't worried about it. We ain't worried about what nobody got, man. The Lord always supplied our needs, yo. You know what I'm saying? Not our wants, but our needs. Whatever we need, the Lord got us. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes he supplies our wants or whatever. You know what I'm saying? We might want certain things, but our needs are always met. You got, um, what, what, and the scripture goes to that. Water. You know what I'm saying? Shelter. Clothing. It's in the pocket for Brothers can put that up. You know what I'm saying? The things that a man need to dwell on the face of the earth. And they say nothing about no fancy ass house or no fancy clothes. Now, do we like nice things? Of course. We like nice garments and things of that nature, but if we don't got it, we don't care. You know what I'm saying? Romans chapter 8. What part of that don't y'all understand, man? Romans chapter 8, verse, it was 18. Romans chapter 8, verse 18, it reads, fire reckon. No, that ain't it. Was it 19? Um, no. What is that at? The manifestation? What is that at? Um, manifestation? Yeah, there the 19. Romans chapter 8, verse 19. For the earnest expectation of the creature, meaning the creations, waited for the manifestation of the sons of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh. So everything known to mankind, the trees, the birds, the animals. You know what I'm saying? All these different nations are waiting on um, the elect of the nation of Israel. Lord willing, I'm part of that whole for number. Starting off with the elder apostles. Slash elder bishops the great millstone, our teachers, our teachers, that's right, you know what I'm saying? Starting with them, the men on down, and the affiliates, Lord willing, we part of this hopeful number, you know what I'm saying? The elect, but that's who everybody's waiting on, you see? For the elect, for, for Lord Yahweh Shai to come and raise up the elect of the nation of Israel and rule over the earth in righteousness. Because going right back to Proverbs 29 and 2, it says, When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. So when the righteous get back in the, in the, in the power, the, the Israelites, 
everyone's going to rejoice. Everything, man. The trees, the rabbits, the squirrels. We're going to be at one with nature and everything. It's going to be beautiful, though, man. That's what our mind is focused on. Fuck this shit here. You see? Bragging and boasting about the shit that you got here. They're saying they don't belong to you. That house, guess what? It don't belong to you, right? You see? That house, that car, that woman, she don't know the damn kids, your offsprings, they don't belong to you. But oh yeah, brag, I just my I got this, I got this, you ain't got it. that's some old little kiddie shit anyway, yo. I got this and you don't. I'm saying I got this and look at my house, look at my car, look at my life. That's some kid, that's some um fucking immature BS, man. You see, well, niggas ain't even grew up yet, man. These niggas haven't even grew up yet, man. You see? But it's all good though. See, see, that's the thing about it. Prophecy is gonna fix everything anyway. Prophecy is gonna fix everything anyway. Let's get this right quick. I got one more after this and then I'm gonna wrap it up. So like I didn't get to none of the comments on the board. I'm just flowing in the spirit. That's how I go sometimes. But it's a lesson within a lesson. This is on First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1. But of the times and seasons and brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. You should know what time it is. With everything that's going on, if you're watching and you're praying and you're paying attention to what's going on, you're watching the news, in the news, you already see what's going on. Ain't got to keep reminding you. Just like nobody ain't got to remind you that it's, is it summertime or it's still spring. Uh, when you work all the damn time, you don't remember nothing. When we was younger, you remember if it was summertime. But when you just work and work and work and work it, you forget when spring comes in. You know what I'm saying you forget when summer comes in and goes out. You see? But you can pretty much tell, you know what I'm saying, when it's wintertime, though, because it'd be cold as shit. You can pretty much tell when it's summertime, not the beginning of it, not the end of it, but the heat of it. You can tell. But the Lord's like, yo, you know what time, when it, cause summertime comes, you know that. Winter, spring, summer, falls, nobody got to tell you when that comes, right? You know. Just like, just like with everything that's going on, wars, rumors of wars, tornadoes, floods, shit is really going down, man. The love of many West and Cola, we feeding our people. Look, you Israelites better get right. Better get right with the Lord. Let all of us get right with the Lord, man. Constantly praying to you. How about Hashem? Y'all trying to go lightning bug. Seen one all the other night, man. Everything's coming back, man. Once this devil get taken down, and hell, who knows if it's a damn lightning bug. Could be a damn mechanical lightning bug. Who knows with this devil, man. This devil's creating everything, man. Mechanical fucking rats, mechanical flies, gnats. That is everything, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, dude was outside. He heard all this bzzz coming through and shit. One of them hit the wall and shit. He picked it up. It was a damn robot damn fly, yo. No, it was a robot bee. This devil, that's what I'm saying. Ain't nobody condemning this devil, though. It's just the bombs, the bombs, the bombs, the bombs, the bombs, the bombs. Grape is, grape is, grape is, grape is, pedos, pedos. Condemn this damn devil, man. Talk about, talk about this devil making it mandatory that you talk about everything going digital. You see? Talk about this devil, no saying, making it mandatory that you take an implantable device in order to buy and sell. Talk about that. The bombs, the bombs. And every lesson that we do, we're not talking about no damn IUIC or none of these other Israel. Like we're prophesying. Now the Lord, and it's the Lord anyway. What part of that don't you ninjas understand? We don't control nothing. I, I'm not controlling my thoughts. I'm not controlling what comes out of my mouth. The Lord controls whatever comes out of my mouth. But you so damn deep, you don't even know that. Everything we do is being controlled by the Lord, either on the right hand side or the left hand side. It's all being orchestrated by the Lord, man. You see, everything, man. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For those that ain't watching. And this is that grace period. What was you doing with your grace period? Ask yourself that. What was you doing with your grace period? You know what I'm saying? Before all hell broke loose. Were you playing around? Were you joking around? Humping around? The hell was you doing, man? You see? It says, for when they shall say peace and saving. That's a narrative. Who are you voting for, brother? Who are you voting for, brother? Do it look like I'm voting yo. Do it look like I'm voting yo. Well, you, you gotta at least vote. I, I know both of them evil, but vote for the lesser of two evils. These niggas are gone, yo. These niggas are gone, yo. Husbands love their wives. All hell break loose. You still pushing husband loves their wives, man. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction coming upon them, as shall veil upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape, right? But ye brethren are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. The Lord woke us up. We 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 we, we living in the light. You know what I'm saying we're living in the light. You know what I'm saying we're not living in the dark. You know what I'm saying you see the average Israelite group don't know what the hell is going on anyway. You see we do though, and we got to be more thankful too. In the last days, proudest times shall come. And I want to get this last one. Henceforth, the title of the video: um, Feed my sheep, feed my flock. Yeah. Great misery is coming upon the face of the earth. All that Israel is really, it's really going down. Discern, pray for more discernment of who that who you need to follow, Israel. You see, 
Because the majority of our people, they're going to follow that wide gate anyway. You know what I'm saying? They don't want that straight and narrow. They're going to follow that wide gate. That leadeth unto destruction. You know what I'm saying? You see? That fortune and fame. Remember, love not the world, nor the things that are in the world, Israel. Remember that. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Remember that, man. Oh, yeah, the other Israelite group, they, they stay away from that scripture right there. Love not the world, because they're worldly as hell. And then the scripture say, they are of the world, therefore they speak in the world, hear with them. Ye are not of the world, therefore when you speak the world, hear with us not. Remember that, you see? Remember that, Israel. They are of the world, therefore when they do lessons and when they speak the world, ooh, yeah, man, yeah, man, fancy house, fancy clothes, riches, 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 riches. And they're willing to do anything to keep them riches, man, you see? You re and we really don't want to know what's really going down behind the scene. You, you really don't know what, what they got to do, no saying, to keep that money. Oh, no, stay right there. What was, was I at? Let's see. You really don't even want to know, man. Just constantly constantly keep thinking your how will Baha Shim Yaw Shah for the lot that we're in right about now, man. Let's see. I can get this, but I want to get that other one. I want to get on, I think it's John, right? This is on First Peter chapter 5, verse 2. Feed the flock. Who is the flock? The Israelites. You can go to Jeremiah 50 for that. I'm not Jeremiah 51. I think it's either Jeremiah 50 or 51. I'm going to have to go there. I'm going to have to go there. Just, just to prove that. Just to pr prove who the flock is. Who the sheep is. They might think it's everybody. Let's just prove it right quick. Was it 50 or 51? I ain't got it in a little while. Let's see. Uh, six. Jeremiah chapter 50 verse 6 and it reads my people have been lost sheep So who's the sheep the Israelites their shepherds has caused them to go astray all oh, hell all oh, hell the false shepherds the false pastors, right? It says um they have turned them away on the mountain They have gone from mountain to hill. They have forgotten their resting place. You see So let's go back the Lord, got, the Lord got a problem with you, false prophets, too. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 2, and it reads, Feed the flock of the Most High, which, which is among you. Take in the oversight, because the Lord has made us pretty much managers of his house. You know what I'm saying? Uh, managers, um, it's another word. For, um, overseers, managers, overseers. You know what I'm saying? Things of that nature, right? Over his house, right? Over his heritage, right? So we can't be playing around, you see? Feed the flock of the Most High, which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly. You see, we got to do this thing willingly, not for filthy lucris. You see that? You see that? Not for filthy lucris, but of a ready mind. Be apt to teach, right? Let's see what else. The Lord said, not for filthy lucris sake, man. Guy's doing it for the damn money. And they feed and lie, feeding our people lies. This will be my last one. This is getting pretty dark. And I'm going to go in. Get ready for tomorrow, Lord's willing. One day closer, Israel. Just hold on, fight that. We just read it. First Timothy 6 and 10. Fight that good fight of faith. We one day closer, man. The Lord coming. Don't even worry about it. Don't get look what it would say. Conform not to the ways of this world, man. But be transformed by the renewing of your mind. When we hear this word, you know what I'm saying? We're supposed to become a better person, a better creature. We don't supposed to hear this word and then conform to the ways of the world even more. You see? We're supposed to run from the ways of the world. You see? The scripture say use the world, but don't abuse it. You see? The average Israelite group look like they like the regular people of the world. You see? They just dancing, just singing, the damn women dancing, frolicking all around, boobies every damn well, ass jingling and shit like that. Gone, gone. I don't want to be a part of none of that nonsense. Gone, man. The Lord gonna do away with it soon come. This is St. John chapter 21. Verse um. Ba ba ba. Bear with me. Just bear with me. Let's see. 15. So when they had dined, Yahweh shall I save to Simon Peter, son Simon, son of Jonas. I got one more after this. Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? And he saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my lambs. We just proved who the lambs was, who the sheep was in Jeremiah the 50th chapter, right? And many other scriptures, but for process of time, you look, put it on the board. 
He said it to Simon again the second time, Simon, son of Jodas, lovers thou me. See, see how people talk a good game. These Israelite men, they talk a good game, yo. But they don't really love the Lord because they're not feeding the sheep of the Lord. You go months, you go to winter without feeding the sheep. You know, if it's too hot, you don't feed the sheep. Oh, Lord, you know I love you, though, Lord. You know I love you, Lord. Scouts honor. Scouts honor. Stop, man. You see? Lord said you love me. And he's talking to the head apostle, man. Peter, man. You know what I'm saying? If you love me, feed my people, man. Feed them. You see? It says, um, he said unto him the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He said unto him, yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, feed my sheep. And that's the only thing that goes into our head constantly. The, the Lord like, yo, forget what you did yesterday What you do today, man People always brag about, I did this yesterday I did. The Lord like, nah, man, forget what you did yesterday What you do today, look all, look at everything I did today for you I made it so you can walk, talk, see, hear I made it so you can use the bathroom properly <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I made it so you can use number one and two properly Get your roof over your head You woke up this morning with a comfortable bed Or you woke up on the floor on a pallet or whatever You see? I woke you up, you know what I'm saying? Calling on the names of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah What have you done for me lately? You see? So we can't be like, oh, I did this yesterday I did three videos yesterday What did you do today, man? And if you didn't do nothing today, you know what I'm saying? Was you thinking about doing something for the Lord today? You see? That's the mindset that we got to have, man. And that's a beautiful thing, you know what I'm saying? The, the Heavenly Father through His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, put that spirit on the elder apostles, man. To, make, to, uh, to put that spirit on us to make us want to work, man. And do something. You just be sitting around like a damn um, fucking log on a damn, uh, what is it, damn log on a stick? They'll bump on the damn log, you know what I'm saying? Can't you be sitting around not doing that, man? With all this information, with all this knowledge, with everything that's going on, we got to do something, man. And if you don't do something every day, be thinking about it, man. Be praying for that spirit. I know I do each and every day. Pray for the spirit, you know what I'm saying? Lord, get feed me, keep feeding me. Going right back to um St. John 7 and 38. He that believeth on me, as the scriptures have said, out of his belly, meaning his mind, shall flow rivers of living water. So if I don't do nothing today, I'm thinking about doing something today. And I'm taking notes, you know what I'm saying? Um, watching videos, taking notes, um, writing down scriptures. So I can do so I can do my next lesson. You see? And then the next lesson. Then I'm always watching so I can see what I'm going to bring out next. We got to thank the Lord for that spirit, man. That's a spirit. It ain't of us. It ain't nothing of us. That's a spirit that the Lord gave us, man. You see? It's beautiful, man. We get the water you have, but shimmy out shot for real, for real, Lord. We can't thank the Lord enough, man. That's why the Lord said, be thankful for all things. I, I got to get that too, man. I got to get that too. Lord's will. It said, 17. He said unto him, the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him. He was grieved, you know what I'm saying? Because he said unto him the third time, lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yeah, how was shy who they even call Jesus? He saves, he delivers, saying unto him, feed my sheep. And I want to get two more and then I'm gone. I'm going to get two more and then I'm going with Fresh Thessalonians. Is that four? Hmm. Can't thank the Lord enough, man. It ain't four, is it five? Must be five then, right? Or is it something else? Yeah, here it is. Oh, um, First Thessalonians chapter five, verse um seventeen. Pray without ceasing. And who are we praying to? If we don't got the name of the heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, the Hebrew, the Hebrew, then who are we praying to? Tell us who do you pray to? If you don't, what do you pray to? The unknown God. Who do you pray to, man? When you lay down at night, before you lay down, when you say the Lord's prayer, what name do you come in? When you say the Lord's prayer, you see? Come on, man. It says, "Hallowed be Thy name." Hallowed be Thy name. You see? Who you pray to, man? You see? Who do you think? This is, I, I, I gotta read this. Pray without ceasing and in everything. Give thanks. Get, who do you throw over your head? Who do you thank for that bottle of water in the refrigerator? Who do you thank? You, know for, you see? Because right here it says, in everything, give thanks. For this is the will of Yahweh. He is, he exists in Yahweh Shah Hamashiach concerning you. You see? So we gotta be thankful for everything. Thankful for everything. And I got one more and I'm gone. It's getting pretty dark. Got one more. Just want to read one more. Look, look. Feed the sheep, Israel. 
You just like men out there, look, look, feed him with what the Lord feeding you with. You see? Remember, the Lord said, he that has small understanding and fear of the Lord is better than a man that know all the breakdowns, you know what I'm saying, and transgress the law. Remember that, man. You see? Let's get this. I want to get this last one. I don't know why it's going black. It's supposed to be white. My phone did a new um, a reboot. It turned everything black. I, I, I'll probably get one of the brothers to show me how to make that white again. Make my screen white instead of black. This is um, Isaiah. It's my last one. And Lord willing, the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel is edified. You Israelites out there, and look, 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 don't let nobody make you feel bad. You see? You got the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. Be thankful for that. Be thankful for that. The Lord said, give us this day our daily bread. Be thankful for that. You see? Don't try to be like nobody. Be like yourself. Be like Lord Yahawashai, pretty much. Be like Lord Yahawashai. You see? He was humble. He was meek. You see? Remember, I would say, um... Humility before honor, Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be of the Bible, shall be the stability of thy time, the strength of salvation. Salakia, so the fear of the Lord is his treasure. And I, I can't go out, I can't leave without this. I can't close out without this. Cause Lord got me thinking about two scriptures right quick. If the water you have, but I was thinking about them in the beginning of the lesson, then I forgot them, and the Lord bring it right on back. If the Lord wants you to bring out something, you're going to bring it out. You see? Because we can't remember everything. This is Acts chapter 4. I got one more after this. Lord's will. Actually, I, I, I can't close you know what I'm saying, without bringing out these two scriptures. Acts chapter 4, verse because because the lesson is called Feed the Sheep, right? Acts chapter 4, verse 12, and it reads, Neither is there salvation in any other. You see? So you can't call on nobody. You can't call on your play yoga to Israel and, and think you're going to be delivered and saved. You can't. Would it do that at Israel? Stop playing around with the Lord. You see? Matter of fact, stop playing around with your damn self, man. You see? And when that ninja came out, his mama said, you can call the Lord, you play yoga. They should have cursed his black ass out. His, his leadership, the men over him should have cursed his black ass out, man. Should have told him, look, look, meet me outside the room. Meet me outside the room now. And, and another speaker come up. You don't play like that, man. Play like that, man. We, we in captivity. We in hell. We just in slavery right about now. You playing around with the name that can get you delivered out of this hell hole? Stupid man. What, what, did, what did Tommy tell Cole? Cole, you stupid. Acts chapter 4, verse 12, and it reads, Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Then the whole that. Think upon that right there. You call on any other name, you're not going to get saved. You're not going to get delivered. Allah. Buddha, Seth on the real, the Hindu god of Shiva, um, where, where, where the Kimmy gods, uh, what is it, Amin Ra, Seth, Gab, you know what I'm saying, all the, Jeebus, you should have known I was going to say him, you should have known, Jee, and now you know they was hollering up something this morning, this morning, it's Sunday too, you know they was hollering up something, they probably still in the damn church with a damn tambourine, just hitting the hard, boom, 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 Jeebus, we used to call on that name before we knew. Now we know now. Now we know now. So we know not to play around with the Lord, man. Let's get this last one. Let's get this last one. Let's get this last one and I'm gone. This is um Proverbs 18 and 10. Just want to get this. Put some respect on your Howard Baha Shem Yahweh Shai. You see? And then look, 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 look. they want you to put some respect. They'll say, look, you can't pronounce their name wrong. You, you can call the God of the Bible anything. You can call his son anything. But you can't you can't call them anything. Ain't that something? Ain't that something though? You can't call them anything. But you can call the creator of the heavens of the earth anything. You MF is going to pay. Just know that. At least you repent. You MF is going to pay for saying that nonsense. At least you repent, man. Can't call you anything. Put some respect on his name. Put some respect on his name. But you don't put respect of, of on your on your creator's name man eh? proverbs 18 and 10 the name of the lord yahweh through his only begotten son yahweh shy they're saying yahweh and yahweh shy at the same time you're going off you're going off you're going off the scriptures don't say we're going off the scriptures say when you come baptize the children of israel baptize them in the name of the heavenly father the son and the holy spirit that sound like yahweh bahashim yahweh shy bahashim rakakwadash bragatha to me that's what it sound like to me when you when you go baptize them in the name in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit, that sounds like Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakwadash to me. 
Proverbs 18 and 10, and it reads, The name of the Lord Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash, is a strong tower. The righteous run into it, and it's safe. Feed my sheep, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops, the great millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items, man. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here, forbear. On to the next. Shalom.